Hey, welcome back to another guitar lesson. Today I'm going to show you how to play Safe and Sound by Taylor Swift featuring the Civil Wars. And this song is very beautiful. So you, in order to play this song, you need a cable on the 7th fret. All right? And I'm in standard tuning. So your guitar should sound a bit like this. So standard tuning, cable on the 7th fret, and you're ready to go. All right. So the intro goes a bit like this. Um, first, we're going to learn the intro. So it becomes easy for the verse as well because the verse is you know almost the same as the intro so the intro goes like this okay so we begin by playing D minor chord okay so what you do is you're gonna play the fourth string open Okay, so this is the sixth string, six, five, four, three, two, one. It's like that. And you know, when you're picking the strings, uh, I'm not using my ring finger, so if you want, you can do that. You know, everybody has a different way to pick the strings, so I'm gonna leave that to you. Uh, which fingers you wanna use to pick which strings, all right? So anyways, we begin with D minor. So here, you begin by playing fourth string open. Okay, so fourth string open. Then you're gonna play third string second fret and then you're gonna play the first and second strings together so i'm using these two fingers for that okay and what's happening over here is you're playing third fret on the second string and on the first string you're doing a pull off like this right so from the first fret to open and here you have third fret so you're gonna play both of them together and it's gonna sound like this so from the beginning on d minor Then you're gonna play the fourth string again open so that's happening that's what's happening on d minor then you come to a minor so okay so for a minor very easy fifth string open and then a minor is like this second fret second fret on the third on the fourth and third strings and first fret on the second string so you're gonna play the fifth string open you're gonna play the fourth string second fret and then just like we did on D minor, you're gonna now pick the second and third strings together, right? So second fret and first fret, like this. So you get on A minor, that's what you have on A minor. So that's what you've learned so far, once again. Okay, now, before we move forward, most of the variations in the song are taking place in these two chords only. Okay, so let me just show you a bit. For example, on D minor, I play it sometimes like this. You know, and then on A minor, it will go to a bit like this. You know, all of that. So don't worry about all of that. I'm going to come to that later. For now, you just need to know the intro. That's what we have. Now we come to F. And it goes a bit like this. Okay, so for F, you just need third fret on the fourth string, second fret on the third string, and first fret on the second string. Okay, and we do hammer on from open to second fret on the third string. Okay, but you're gonna play the fourth string and the third string together. Okay, so fourth string is third fret and hammer on over here. Okay. And just when you do the hammer on, you're gonna again play second fret on the third string and third fret on the fourth string, like this. So you get this. Okay, once again. And then you're gonna again play the third string, second fret, and then open on the third string. So all in all on F, you get this. Once again, slowly. Okay, so from the beginning, what we've learned so far is this. Cool. Now we come to C major and we do this. Okay, once again. Now here's a, again another little variation. In the demo, I was playing this. Okay, so it makes no difference it's just a little you know variation so I'm gonna show you this one um, 
basically what you're doing is first you want C major okay so for C major you need third fret on the fifth string second fret on the fourth string open on the third string and first fret on the second string so again you're doing that same technique after you're doing the hammer on from open to the second fret but this time on the fourth string right and you play the fifth string as well so you're gonna play the fifth and fourth strings together and you're gonna do the hammer on over here okay now when you finish the hammer on you again play the fourth string and then you play the third string open so you get this okay once again and then you come over here here you're gonna play a hammer on from open to second fret on the fifth string and then you're gonna play open on the fourth and third strings so you get this so from the beginning you have this all the chords D minor to A minor to F to C you get this okay again slowly repeat this again come back to D minor this is the same okay so D minor and A minor is the same don't need to go through that again okay now the difference is over here okay so you move from F to C okay so basically what you're doing is you're gonna play third fret on the first string and second fret on the third string both of them together play fifth string open and then you play first fret on second string so you get this okay and then that's the ending so you just play open on the third string and then play fifth and second strings together fifth string is third fret second string is first fret so you get this so now if you play the entire intro the first part and the second part you get this okay so now you know how to play the intro of the song now the verse begins and like I said before the verse is the same as the intro but we can add some variations so the verse will sound a bit like this okay so and then she, she, she sings this part again change comes over here okay so you understand where the song is going right just listen to the song uh, play the original song and then you know you you'll know when this part comes right so this is what we need to learn now but before we learn this let me just show you how to do uh, the little variations that we're doing on the verse that's a variation on D minor so in the intro you did this in the verse you're gonna do this so basically you're gonna again begin by playing the fourth string open but at the same time you're gonna do a hammer-on from open to the first fret on the first string like this you get this okay fourth string and first string together and then back to the third string and then this is the same the hammer uh, the pull off on the first string and second string played together so this is the same okay so you get this and then this is also also the same the back to the open on the fourth string okay so that's the variation on D minor so once again and then the variation on A minor goes a bit like this okay again the same principle as we did on uh, D minor um, you know the, f the fifth string is open and 
and the hammer on from open to the first fret on the second string so it's the same principle like this and then you know you can play any of the two strings over here the third string second fret so and then this is the important note open on the first string okay so or you can play the first and second strings together so you get this right so that's the only variation so once again the verse will sound like this right and this then the rest of the, um, the part is the same and then you know again back to this D minor and A minor here you can leave out the variation you know go back to the simple version and then this is the same right so you understand what I'm saying this variation, you know, there's no particular rule about it that you have to do it or that you don't have to do it. It depends on your mood, okay? You can go through the entire song without doing the variations or, you know, you can figure out, make something of your own. So a lot of the stuff that I was playing in the beginning as well, you know, some of the things that I added, I don't even know what I did, you know, because it's just, you know, the fingers move along like that. But I've given you the basic, you know, idea behind what's happening and the basic idea behind the variations. All right, so now let's go to um, the ending part of the verse, right, where we had to go through to this part. So when the verse is ending, right, after this, you don't go back to D minor, instead you go to over here. get the point we're gonna come to G all right you begin by playing third fret on the top string so after playing third fret on the top string then you want to come over here so basically what's happening is third fret on top string you know just open on the second string first fret on the second string and third fret on the second string right so da, 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 da. so we're just adding a little more notes over here so right so open on the second string then you play the fourth and third strings open and then okay come to the first fret and then open on the fourth and third string again then land on third fret of the second string so right once again then you come to the ending this little part we again gonna use later all right so we are again on F um, basically you just want to play third fret on the fourth string and third second fret on the third string play them together play the first fret on the second string individually play the third fret on the second string play the first play open on the first string go back to second fret on the third string Okay, so you get this. Once again. Okay, so once again, let's just go through the ending of the verse. You know, you begin with the same D minor. And then the ending of the verse is this. Okay. Okay, now we get into the chorus of the song. And the chorus is just close your eyes. And this is the same as we learned before. Right, so as you see the beginning of the chorus, you know, it's just one part that keeps on repeating three times. Just close your eyes, right, Th that part. So, we begin on F7 uh, again. So, third fret on the fourth string, second fret on third string, first fret on the second string. Okay, so you can just begin by playing, you know, picking the second and fourth strings together. Just do that, and then you come to the part. Okay, just close your chest. Okay, so what you're doing is, you play second string then you pick fourth and third strings so then you put your little finger on third fret of the second string right play it and then this is the same okay so once again and then you play open on the first string so 
okay okay so what you're doing is you come on C and you play the fifth, the fifth string third fret and third fret on the first string as well with your little finger okay so then you play open on the third string and then you do a pull off from third to open on the first string and then you play second string again first fret so that's what you have on C once again okay so from the beginning of the chorus you get this now you come to this part okay so you come on G third fret on the top string and third fret on the second string play them together play the first string open play the third fret again on the second string so then play the first fret on the second string so and then in the very end just go back to the F play these two strings together okay third fret and second fret the fourth and third strings so from the beginning for the chorus you get this start out with this get it once again slowly and then you just repeat it again Okay, I'm gonna go slow. Same thing. Come here and then repeat it again. So you see, we're repeating with the words just close your eyes, alright? So, like this. You know, we're repeating from that part over there. Okay, so you repeat it three times. So, when you do it three times, we get this. first fret on the second string so okay you end over here once again right you end over here and then you come to this a minor so for that you just need to play fifth string open and fourth and third strings together all three of them together okay from the G with the second string open play the top string and second and third strings together and then this part is the same that we learned before. I told you that we were going to be doing it again. Right? So you know how to play this one. Okay, so that's how you play the chorus of the song. You know? And then you come back to the verse. You know, the whole thing, the whole verse. Then you, you know, come back to the pre-chorus, which is this part. Then you come to the chorus again. whole thing and then after the second chorus now after the second chorus you come to the bridge of the song where the strumming you know is happening we start out by playing F7 again so now we're gonna have uh, the first string open as well so you know it's all down strums from F G so for G third fret second fret open 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 third fret again A minor go back to G down strums on each chord okay two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven back to G right G back to G come back to the chorus you just play uh, the, the chorus that we've learned the intro the intro of the chorus is the same come back to this you know you 
end over here so then you start strumming again for the lyrics and then you come back to the so you see so we start by F again one two three four five six seven eight come to C major G, one, two, three, four, come to A minor, one, two, three, four, back to G, one, two, three, four, and come to D over F sharp, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So for D over F sharp, second fret on the top string, open, second fret again, third fret, okay, and open on the first string as well if you want, but I'm not using the first string, so four, five, six, seven, eight, and then she goes back to that's the outro of the song. Same chords, F2, C, G, G, back to A. You know, you can end on end the song on F. Or you can... So that is it for the song uh, Safe and Sound by Taylor Swift. I hope you liked it. And please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if I helped you in any way. And I will see you guys next time with another tutorial. Till then, goodbye.